A 53% increase in burglaries in the unincorporated areas of Spokane has the sheriff declaring a public safety emergency. Homeowners were threatened at gunpoint on the West Plains, and three young girls were forced to hide from a burglar in the Valley Chapel area as a thief smashed his way into their rural home. KXOI 4's Jeff Humphrey shows us why the sheriff is so concerned and how you can protect your family from these break-ins. Well, it's really important to know that these are not random burglaries. In each case, the victims had given the thieves reason to believe that no one was home, either no cars parked in the driveway or porch lights left on during the daytime. So what we're looking for when you know, doing our routine random patrol, you know, is things that are out of place. Deputy Travis Pendell says the last thing that burglars want is to break into a home while property owners are inside. And so before smashing their way in, they always do some serious doorbelling. Most of these burglars, they come to the door, they have a ready spiel. They're asking for somebody that they know doesn't belong there or they're selling a product that they don't really have to sell. but. They've, they've got something to tell you if you happen to be home. Last Thursday, when a burglar went to this home on Valley Chapel Road, no one answered the doorbell, and so he punched out a window and unlocked the deadbolt. Unfortunately, Melissa Bambach's three daughters were hiding inside. Since they didn't answer, he proceeded to bust in the glass of our front door, and um, she said she heard footsteps through the upstairs. Occupied residential burglaries are rare, but now that one has happened, putting Bambox children at risk, Sheriff Ozzy Knezovich is assigning more manpower to the problem. We're also going to be sending all personnel that are not assigned to the field out to the field sometime during a week to help with surveillance to help with targeted emphasis. But the sheriff also knows we need to do a better job of looking after ourselves. He says we need to stop telegraphing messages to crooks that we're not home. Stop leaving that trash can out on the curb long after it's been emptied. Stop the paper and the mail when we're gone and make it easier for your neighbors to keep an eye on your place. I'm a big advocate for get to know your neighbors. Get a circle of friends, a block watch, if you will, that you can trust, and then communicate with them. When you're gone, ask them to make sure the place looks occupied. And that includes answering the front door if someone knocks on it. You don't have to open the door. Just tell whoever is out front to leave their information behind. The key is making sure that they know that you're inside and that your home is not a good target for a burglary. Reporting in southern Spokane County, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.